Welcome to Introduction to Craftsmanship. I always like to start this class by sharing a Tuareg tea ceremony with the students. We sit on the floor around camel hair blankets and an assortment of crafts from around the world. In this video, you'll see scenes from this first class. We begin by seeing pictures of the Tuareg people, and then, using pieces of a dyed sheet, each of the students tries wrapping their heads as the Tuaregs do. The Tuareg are a nomadic tribe that lives in the Saharan part of Africa, and the cloth they wrap their heads in is dyed with indigo that has a tendency to rub off onto their skin, giving them the name also of the Blue People. Traditionally, three rounds of tea are served. Tea is usually brewed in small metal teapots, dented and battered from travel, packed and unpacked multiple times a day. It is drunk in small, thick, clear glasses, each round getting sweeter as more water and sugar are added to the pot. Among the Tuareg, tea is sometimes called the friend of conversation and is said to have many parallels with life as it is shared throughout every day. While the class enjoys the tea, I describe the variety of crafts before us. We are fortunate to have baskets, pots, folk toys, woodworking, gourds, textiles, a wide variety of crafts from around the world. As we look at each piece, we talk about the usefulness of the object, the unique materials used to make it, the unique place it came from. We talk about the relationship between the craft and the environment it is coming from. As we look at, feel, smell, and inspect all of these objects, we begin to get a sense about these crafts fitting into everyday lives in many different situations, but at the same time fulfilling many common needs. I wanted to take a crafts class because I believe that you need to have a balance in your life between academic things and intellectual things and art because art is a very human thing and since we're the only animals that create art I think all humans should kind of dabble in it a little bit. I took crafts because my ancestors are from Bolivia and walking through the streets when I go out with my grandmother I'm attracted to many of the things that the Bolivian makes, the crafts, the textiles, and it's just really nice and I think this would be a nice opportunity. During this initial experience, students are exposed to ideas about craft and the craft person throughout history as well as globally today. We begin to explore a variety of questions that the class will continue to illumine. Who are these unknown artisans from the past and today? What is the connection between the character of a human being and the character of his work? Is it important to learn to make things by hand when machines can easily produce them? What does pride in one's work mean? In a tangible way, the students begin to lay a foundation and a context for the experiential tasks they will have in the class. They begin to get an idea about the expanse of crafts throughout the world. 
Both crafts and tea span the globe. I want the students to reflect on craft worldwide and to appreciate some of the common impulses for expression as well as common needs we share with other cultures. I hope that, through crafts, the students will reflect on the oneness and the diversity of humanity. Thanks for sharing some virtual tea with us. I'm a star, I'm a star,